The Astroworld Festival stage in Houston is coming down more than a month after that tragedy there. Crew members were seen Wednesday disconnecting light fixtures and wiring. On November 5th, the crowd stormed the stage during rapper Travis Scott's performance. Ten people died. Scott's attorney says plans have been in the works for a couple of weeks to take everything down. The setup remained in place while investigators and attorneys collected evidence at the venue. At least 300 lawsuits have been filed against Scott and the event's organizers. A street in Memphis now bearing the name of the late rapper Young Dolph. City officials held a ceremony yesterday renaming Dunn Avenue to Dolph Young Dolph Thornton Jr. Avenue. The location is where the rapper grew up and tragically where he was killed back in November. And that's what I'm hoping every time each and every person drives by this sign, they see Adolph Robert Thornton Jr. When you see that name, that you're inspired. That you're inspired to just make a difference and to just to make a change, a small change in giving and loving and just being a better person for the betterment of this community. The family held a celebration of life for Dolph after the unveiling where the fans were able to attend. He was also considered a community advocate, handing out turkeys on Thanksgiving, holding school talks and donating to his high school there. You can tell a Spider-Man fan wrote this one. Our spidey sense is tingling. And that must mean the new Spider-Man movie is headed to theaters tomorrow. Yes, she is. It's <laughs> been a long wait for Marvel fans and critics say it's well worth it, calling it a huge Christmas present for moviegoers. Here's CNN's Rick Damagella with a preview. How do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Now everybody knows. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. He just wants to be a friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, but things go very, very wrong when he enlists the help of Doctor Strange in Spider-Man No Way Home. When Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. The plot involves villains from other universes and movies invading Tom Holland's Spideyverse. And so characters from out of nowhere start appearing and uh, it, it leads to some really epic confrontations and, you know, incredible special effects and visual effects. Um, but it also leads to this really interesting dynamic of, uh, you, you know, thinking about the past of spider lore and how it interweaves and figures into this sort of modern telling of this character and the MCU in total. You're flying out into the darkness to fight ghosts. What do you mean? They all die fighting Spider-Man. It's their fate. What kind of superpowers would No Way Home's cast members <laughs> wish to wield? I would like to get rid of all the plastic in the world. That'd be amazing. That would be my superpower. Would you have a backup for that? Like, could you like? Because once people, all the plastic's gone, people are going to make more plastic. Do? Yeah, right. Listen, we live in a clever world. There are cleverer the people things. than me that can figure it out. <laughs> if I could turn invisible so people don't have to find me, that'd be amazing. Yeah. I would want to teleport, but I just think teleporting would make my life so much easier, and mm -hmm. I could get so much more done. The problem is you trying to live two different lives. In Hollywood, I'm Rick Damagella. In question. Yeah. Hey, real quick, before we go to Mike and Fiona, I want to tell you that we're getting several reports now. I think 24-7 Sports was the first one to report that Sincere McCormick, the running back for UTSA, going to skip the bowl game and go to the NFL. Another so one. That? So, yeah, we'll have more on our website, and Greg Simmons will have more on that at 5. Meantime, Meantime SA Live, queuing wow. up. Well, Mike is all dressed up today. Something's going on. <laughs> it's it's our, our last show before Christmas, our last live show said, before Christmas. said, wear something Christmassy. This was your version, and this was mine. <laughs> it's, it's got ornaments on it. it the does. tie does. See it right there? Does. My tie from Goodwill. So, hey, all day right. 11. That's right. Get ready to win big, because it is day 11 of our 12 days of Christmas giveaway. So that means whoever wins today's prize walks away with 11 big prizes. Day 12 tomorrow, of course. Mm -hmm. Adina Anderson, our dear friend, is here, and you want to give some uh, really nifty gift ideas. Yes. You've got a couple right there. And they're all on my website, but this is a cute little cupcake. It's actually socks. Oh. And so that would be a cute stocking stuffer. And then this is just a little treat that you could give like to your neighbors or someone that just pops by or Amazon driver. And it's just mint in a clay pot that looks like a snowman. And this is just a hot pad with some cookie mix and some spatulas and wrap it up with a bow. Great oh. idea. Love I'm making it. hot chocolate coming up here in a minute. Also, hey, mm -hmm. question. How do you like your hot chocolate? Uh, hot.
No, I'm just kidding. I like it with with I like it with milk and I like it with marshmallows. Okay. Mm -hmm. How do you like it? We're gonna answer that question. <laughs> how do you like your benuelos? Ooh, <laughs> we're gonna tell you how to make those. And boy, this calling all tamale lovers. If you don't make your own this time of the year and you hit up your local joint instead, we want to hear from you. Our new streaming show, KSAT News Now, has a bracket challenge going on right now. All you got to do is go to KSAT.com and you can vote on your favorite local tamale maker. You can vote until December 23rd and then the winner will be announced on the show at 11 a.m. It's always a big competition in San Antonio. You can sometimes tell by the long lines of cars yeah. picking up their tamales. But we want to emphasize it's local mom and pops. Yeah. Yes. Local. That's true. Yeah. Uh, near 80 next couple days, close to some records. It's going to be another warm, humid afternoon. If you're uh, waiting on those changes, you're going to have to wait till Saturday morning. That's when that cold front arrives. It'll quickly turn cooler and windy. We'll have a chance for storms early in the day. Then another chance for showers late on Sunday into early Monday, too. All the while staying pretty chilly until we get into next week. Thank you, Justin. And thank you for watching the news at noon with us. Mike would look pretty sharp. So did Fiona, all dressed up Christmassy, ready for the... They got a Christmas party going on. Yeah. And, and we weren't invited. Well, we can watch. We can always sneak in. SA Live starts right now. And today on SA Live at that Christmas party, it's our 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. It continues with even bigger prizes. Today's prize reveal is coming up. Plus, it's Buñuelo season. We have a local business from the south side showing us how they make this holiday favorite. And it's not just for Christmas. And we share some craft cocktails and mocktails for the Christmas season. Celebrate San Antonio. Coming to you live from historic Market Square. This is SA Live. This guy looks like he's all ready. Can you believe Christmas Eve is one week from tomorrow. Oh, the countdown. The chocolate. We have poinsettias. Mm -hmm. And there's Frosty. And, and we have a beautiful Christmas sweater. Yes, and your tie. Yes. <laughs> it matches it's, perfectly it's my, with your jacket. It's my, my goodwill tie. It's so GQ. Yeah, so. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Very nice and a great deal and giving back. Hi, everyone. Happy <laughs> Thirsty Thursday. And as we were saying, it's the last live show before Christmas and the New Year. So we are going to go out with a bang or a jingle, whichever it is. I'm Mike Osterhage. <laughs> and I'm Fiona Gorostiza. All right. Well, tomorrow, of course, big one for us. Yep. Yeah, SA Live is getting San Antonio into the Christmas spirit. From lights and events to dinner and desserts to caroling and unforgettable gettable gifts plus the grand prize in our 12 days giveaway the SA live classic Christmas special airs tomorrow at 1 right here on KSAT 12 and we almost forgot about us caroling on the river oh gosh I'm sure those people who heard us want to forget the all right well there is show. there is more than one right way to make hot chocolate but how about making flights and of course mini bars for the drinks say what I love that. Adina Anderson, owner of Creative Lifestyles with Adina, is here to help us up our game and yes. having a nice little fun kind of a hot chocolate bar, if you will. Yes, right? because it's going to get cold, right, Yes, Mike? Yes, it is. <laughs> it, will. it will. for a little bit, for right? A little for a while. little bit. Now, okay, so these are the trendiest ways yes. folks are enjoying hot yes. chocolate Last now. Last year so it was the hot chocolate bomb. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This year it's the hot chocolate flight. All right, okay. we're so we're going to feel really cool because yes. we're going to be hip. You're going right? to be hip, yes. And we're so, going to do it for grown-ups. Yes, so. for grown-ups. So but the perfect thing for hot chocolate is finding what kind of liqueur or, or spirit that you like in your hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. I, my new favorite one is the Texas Ranger Coconut Pecan because this it goes with everything <laughs> and so do a little Michigan pour in there but probably put about a half an ounce to an ounce in these little cups okay. and the board I got at Target uh -huh. and I painted it but you could just leave it plain and then the glasses I got on Amazon like 24 for wow. 10 bucks I mean they oh. weren't that expensive maybe 20 bucks and then you could have them already done for your guest if you're gonna have a party or you could put out like a little board or something and have the marshmallows and the whipped cream and that's the debate guys whipped cream or marshmallows on your Ooh. hot chocolate um okay yeah <laughs> I don't know if Mike can decide. And you definitely want to put your sprinkles and, and all, all the fun stuff on there. And so and we, we added the Enchanted Rock in the one, right, with the mint. That's yes. really good. 
right. I, and again, I love that you're playing bartender. You're like, like line them up, Mike, I line them up. I was going to just go <laughs> down the line like that. But, but yeah, it would be a, a fun thing for a party is to have all the little goodies out there and people can just do them up the way they want. Yes, right? exactly. Which kind of okay. brings us to the bar here, our hot chocolate bar that Fiona's going to create, which I just used some mason jars and then some decoupage, and you've got that there, and then your glitter. So don't be shy with your deco. Look, she knows. Don't be shy with Not. your decoupage. Mm -hmm. Get it on there. It's good, there. right? I'm telling ooh, you, ooh, Mike. Oh, <laughs> get real, don't get too close on that one. That's so. a good one. Are yes. you starting your holiday already over there? Look at you go. Okay. So if you put your decoupage, you sprinkle your glitter. And I did three in this board. Now this little crate, I got it. I think Michaels or Joanne, you know, one of the one of the craft stores mm -hmm. for a couple dollars. This whole bar could be done for under ten dollars. Those snowman cups I got at the dollar store. Those are so cute for a buck. Okay, and what I like about the snowman cups, they're the big giant yes, size. Yes, I know, so exactly. Or coffee or hot chocolate. Yes, you know? and then in your mason jars, just put your hot chocolate, your candy canes, your marshmallows, whatever you like. Look how good she's doing Look there. at oh, that wow. already. Isn't it pretty? Uh -huh. <laughs> and there's also something uh, that we were talking about earlier, and it is this gift box, yes. and this is a subscription. Yeah, I found right? this place online, and I just had to check it out, so I got one, and it's called Shaker and Spoon. They send you everything you need to make 12 cocktails, three different cocktails, but you end up with 12 cocktails total. The alcohol does not come in it, but it gives you suggestions on what alcohol to get. And this is kind of That's like the rum box, but I did it with the coconut pecan whiskey because I'm just loving that with everything. So, <laughs> it's so, so versatile. In, in the I words know. of Cousin Eddie, it's a gift that keeps on giving. It's a gift that keeps on giving. Through, yeah, right? it's because you can do it one month, three months, six months, 12 months. You got it. Another really neat idea that you have, look at this right down here. Yes. All those little tiny bottles. And you got those on what, Amazon? Amazon. I think it was like $10 for 20 or 30 of them. And then you just put your sprinkles in your hot cocoa and the tip is put a rubber band around it before you tie it. The little pink there, I did the peppermint infused vodka, the Enchanter Rock vodka in that oh. little one. Oh my gosh, it's so good. So you can put these in here <laughs> you too? You put those right in the mm -hmm. middle. And while you finish that up, I'm I want to do it. I'm going to pick this up. Okay. okay. Share my safe <laughs> travel winter. Huh? Here, I'll hold them. You put the rubber band on. So. Oh, <laughs> great. Good teamwork. Can they see this? Yeah. See? We're behind the point. So I have to, Fiona, point you have to set check point this out. Yes. Okay. <laughs> point All right. And traveling, this is neat. If you were going somewhere, going skiing out in the cold or something like yes. that. Yes. To, you know, it's always fun to bundle up and get a little chilly, but we're know. cheating now, right? You got to touch this, Fiona. This is the oh. heated jacket by Gobi. Look, you can do really hot, medium hot. Feel Wait this. Wait a second. What? Feel this. I wish <gasps> we would have had this last year. I know. Oh, gosh, there's a <laughs> heater in the jacket. Look. Yeah, and, and in the hat. Stop. So there's it's different huge. levels? Oh. Yes. And it'll last three hours to 12 hours. You get it and go. And it's a woman-owned business, which I love. And of course a woman would think of yes. this. Yes. So you can plug this in the car. <laughs> yes. Or I it suppose comes you with even, USB. Uh, if you had one of those little uh, chargers that are solar powered, so you could do out, that as well. Yes. Out, so. And my That's biggest okay. tip for winter travel is take a black tablecloth because yeah. it's versatile. You can use it as a blanket. You can use it to hide the things in the back of your car. Or even if you're going shopping, you could use it to hide the gifts if you want to go in and out. Oh, it looks awesome on you. <laughs> <laughs> these are these are great ideas. Again, <laughs> it's like you're coming off of working on the docks every time you put one of those on. Okay. All right. For more information That's on creative lifestyles with Adina, just head to salive.com and click on the ad seen on SA Live tab where we've provided a link. All right, back to our initial <laughs> question about hot chocolate. Mm -hmm. How do you like your hot chocolate done? Uh, if you put this stuff in it, doesn't matter what's on top. <laughs> anyway, uh, do you, do you like sprinkles, marshmallows, marshmallows or whipped cream? What do you think? I like it with milk and marshmallows. Mm. Marshmallow, and then you got to get one of those little tiny candy canes. Okay. When I was a kid, a little candy cane would kind of dissolve in there. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. That or you could do that too. Too, so. <laughs> so let us know how you like your hot chocolate. Marshmallows or whipped cream or with water or milk. Yes. It's got to be milk so it's nice and rich. I know. And I like yeah. it when it's like thick and creamy like that. All right. Let us know. That's on SA Live Case Out on Facebook and Twitter. All right. Tis the season for giving back and one San Antonio man is going really above and beyond to make sure the homeless population is warm for this warm and fed for this winter season. Our Jen Tobias Dresky has the story. Blankets, coats, beanies, and gloves, all part of the donation San Antonio resident Joss Gutierrez is collecting for the third year in a row, giving back to the homeless population something near and dear to his heart. 
My uncle served in Vietnam and coming back from the war, he just suffered severe PTSD, turned him into becoming like sort of a violent person. And as many people tried to help as possible, but it ended up being in the result of him becoming a homeless veteran here in San Antonio under multiple bridges. And I kind of just always, you know, like had a soft spot for anybody homeless and kind of just always searching, you know, trying to see if I can see him. Gutierrez has realized last year that many people were willing to make donations, not just at his workplace where he's a fitness instructor, but also through his social media pages, allowing him to distribute more supplies to the homeless. Blankets, jackets, socks, beanies, gloves. Beanies and socks tend to be what helps them the most. Um, they're the least protected. A lot of times they have dirty socks, they have wet socks if it's wet outside. Um, this past week when we were handing out socks, people changed immediately. They're so thankful for them. This originally started as just me looking in my closet and realizing like, why do I have 60 jackets? You know, why do I have 60 when some have none? And so a few years ago, I just, you know, I just, I, I kept five and I put the rest in my car. And I said, when I see somebody in need, I'm just gonna hand it out. Gutierrez says he hopes to continue to help the homeless here in San Antonio all year long. I'd love for it to be more than just one, two, three, four, five weekends. If it could last, you know, from November cold to February cold, that would be even better. I think locally, like it's just the most important thing that we can do in our, in our community is to uplift each other. And the best way to do that is to show some joy and some kindness to somebody at least one time throughout the day. You know, if we all did that, it just makes it such a better place to be. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Strusky. Josh plans another drop off this Sunday, so you still have some time to contribute to his cause with donations, blankets, socks, you know, uh, beanie hats, anything like that would really help out. You can drop off at Joyride Cycling and Fitness located at 1915 Broadway before Sunday or reach out to Josh through social media. We have links to his pages on salive.com. Just click the As Seen on SA Live tab. Wonderful, Josh. That's fantastic. Hey, our biggest giveaway of the year continues. Keep watching for your chance to win 11 gifts during our 12 days of Christmas giveaway. And we show you how to crochet your own winter wear and how you can support local causes in the community. Welcome back to SA Live. The San Antonio Public Library is making you warm this season, but also a little frightful. And Miranda Reyes, circulation attendant and co-host of San Antonio Public Library's newest program, Dreaded Threads, yes, love the name you. of that, <laughs> is here. And this is, I mean, crocheting at the library. Yes, um, crocheting and listening to true crime podcasts at the library. I love um, it. Yeah. So with the Dreaded Threads, we are listening to true crime podcasts. Mm -hmm. We are crocheting an easy beginner pattern and we have embroidery patterns. Okay. Um, so that's what we are doing with the Dreaded Threads mm -hmm. and then that kind of ties in with what you're working on here is our uh, twisted headband for our wall of warmth. So that right. doubles as ear warmers as it gets colder. Now, if you go to this program, mm -hmm. do I have to bring this headband with me or everything is you there? You do so, not. Okay. I have everything you could need. I've got the scissors, the yarn, the crochet hooks, anything you need, I've got. So just bring yourself. Do I go back and forth or over the yes, top? Yes, so you're going to go back and forth. Back in this way? Okay. Yeah. All right. And you want to sandwich it like, like that? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then you're going to go in and out. Just so out. the Wall of Warmth initiative, we mm -hmm. started back in 2019. It's been going for about three years now. Um, it started with Lisa Leandro and myself. Mm -hmm. We wanted to start a community um, initiative where neighbors can help neighbors. So we are asking for donations for um, hats, scarves, gloves, um, anything to keep you warm. And it is a wall that you can find either at Petrenko Johnston, Pruitt, or Central Library. You will find warm items for the winter. You don't need to ask anyone. It's an anonymous wall, so donate what you want, put your items up there, or take what you need. And I this is the it. nice thing. I mean, if you're just driving along and you see it, you can hop out of the car, you don't yep. even have to turn the car off, put it up there, and that's it. Yep. You don't okay. have to And talk same to thing anybody. if you need something. Yes. Right? Yes. Oh, that's wonderful. And which uh, locations again is this at? It's at Petrenko Branch Library, Johnston, mm -hmm. Pruitt, and Central Library. We're hoping to expand to all the libraries soon. Um, if you are interested, ask your local library and maybe we can get a wall up there. 
Okay, yeah. and so Dreaded Threads, you mentioned, you guys listen to true crime, like walk yes. us through it. Are you listening to like Spotify, like a yeah, certain so podcast? Yeah, on Spotify we are listening to Crime Junkies and we're kind of listening to it as we're working on our own program. So with Dreaded Threads you don't have to do crochet, you don't have to embroider. If you're into a different type of threading craft, like quilting or knitting, bring that and listen to Crime Junkies with us. I'll be down, look at how neat that looks. <laughs> And then we've also got our hot glue gun. You can glue on some, some, some buttons little, little or snowflakes. Some little doodads there. Okay. And out there at the library, I mean, anything you need, you can go there and borrow a book. You can borrow yep. online. Mm -hmm. They have tutoring classes. We, yeah, we have online virtual tutoring through mm -hmm. our website. You can find it on BrainFuse. You just need a library card to access it. Um, you can ask for 24-7 virtual help, submit some questions if you just want someone to answer a question. Um, we've got vinyl records you can check out, we've got audio books, we've got virtual books if you don't want to come to the library. And how many items can you check out at one time? 50 items at 50 a time. 50 items, 50 items at a time. You I check out it. vinyl records? We do. <laughs> that is new. So only three branches are doing the vinyl records. That's Petrenko, Schaefer, and Central. Okay. okay. And of course, this is all for program with a purpose? Yes. Mm -hmm. And now, when you uh, go to the, the dreaded threads, do you sign up ahead of time? Do you just show up? Can you, you just go there? You can show up. We won't turn you away. Um, there is an online sign up. If you go to my Sapple, there mm -hmm. under our events page, you can sign up online, but I won't turn you away. Okay. We've got plenty to go around. Okay. And any tips for new people if they're beginning to crochet? Um, look up YouTube tutorials. Okay. Just keep at it. Don't give up. Well, it, where did you learn? Uh, my great grandmother taught me when I was eight. Oh, um, what's the first thing you crocheted? A baby blanket. Oh. Yeah. Do um, you still have it? Yes, I do. Oh. I actually brought it with me. There is a baby blanket that I worked on right over there, that pink one. That is not the first one I right. made, but that is the baby, a baby blanket I made. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, if you'd like more information about the San Antonio Public Library, it is, I mean, all the resources, and all you do is just get a library card, and that's all you need. And more on the Wall of Warmth, just go to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All, all right. right. Later in the show, we are making holiday treats with San Antonio flavor from a South Side business. And trim your waistline down by inches in just weeks so you can start the new year off right. That's straight ahead on SA Live. inches. That's how much you could lose in just two weeks with a little help from the Zorona laser, just in time to start a new year on track to a healthier you. So how does it work? Here with everything you need to know is Laura Alexis, CEO of Innovative Lasers of Houston. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you for having us. Of course, and you brought it. This is the Zorona laser right here, but how does the process work? The laser itself creates tiny microscopic tears into the fat cell. What you're seeing on screen right now is a visual of what happens undergoing treatment. At the very top image, as you can see, the fat cell is plump. Before a 20 minute session is done, at the very bottom, the fat cell has already collapsed. Now, if you're wondering, hey, where is it going? It is filtered through the lymphatic system through the process of urine and sweat. Once that happens, the results are immediate, resulting in three to 11 inches in just two weeks typically half a pound to a pound per visit. That is an, that's incredible. I mean, you're literally going to be seeing it melting away. So how, how does it work? How, so like how it, you actually okay. feel nothing at all. Another miraculous thing about this product is that it offers, ah! ah! <laughs> as you can see, you feel nothing. Mm -hmm. Offers no downtime, no swelling, no bruising, no pain, no heat, no cold. Patients are coming in and it's like coming to a spa. But what's happening- I feel like I have to do this hand too. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I mean, nothing, no pain, no nothing. I don't yeah. feel anything. Yeah, that's yeah. one of the reasons why we, we have become so popular in just a short period of time. The results are immediate, you feel nothing at all, and we get that instant gratification, which is something that we've been looking for all our lives. And that's what people, some people need to kind of stay encouraged, and you know, when they see those results that quickly, I mean, they really get that confidence back even faster. So what sets Innovative Lasers apart from other weight loss programs? The results are immediate. It also stimulates collagen. A lot of programs out there just promise the shrinkage. 
but the laser itself stimulates collagen and it's a symmetrical feeling. What do I mean by that? You lose, even if you put the laser in your tummy area, you will lose inches symmetrically throughout the entire body. So it's, I mean, it's easy to see you're so passionate about this Rona laser, but tell us why. Because I was a patient first. I tried it, it transformed my life, and I needed to share this with the rest of the world. All right, and they, you have a transformation package that's usually $2,400. How much can the first 100 callers save? Typically, the transformation package is $2,400. However, for viewers now, it is over half off at $1,000. And if you're one of the first 100 callers, we will even throw in an additional three sessions for free. So there's no better time than now. Absolutely, and look at what you're saving there. And tell us real quickly, when, when people come out of the, the program and the treatment, I mean, what is their reaction? It's not only a transformation on the outside, but even if the way they walk, the way they talk, the way they carry themselves. They transform on the inside. Patients have come in through our doors that are on walkers because they can't walk. And after they, they finish their program with us, they're walking without it. They're playing with their kids. They're fishing. They're living life again. And this is what we give to the community. Give them their life back. All right, let's get the information up on the screen. Call now to get six sessions for $1,000. The normal transformation package price you heard was $2,400, but for the first 100 callers, you'll get three additional treatments for free. All you have to do is call for your free consultation, 210-474-0096, or visit InnovativeLasersOfHouston.com. It's a thirsty Thursday, and we're shaking up festive holiday cocktails and mocktails for the kids. And you know the hot chocolate we made earlier? Oh, we're pairing them with banuelos. Oh, those are so yummy. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, KSAT 12 is teaming up with Live from the Southside Magazine to feature Southside businesses. And boy, do we have a terrific one for you today. Just take a moment, feast your eyes on that cookie tray right there. Oh, goodness gracious. We have the owner and baker of Southtown Buenuelos, Art Giron, here to show us how to make this holiday treat. Oh, this man is our new best friend right now. So good afternoon, first of all. Merry Christmas, sir. <laughs> Merry Christmas. Okay. Uh, how'd how you get how started? did we get started yeah. making these? Because I've already gotten started. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Okay. So anytime you're going to do a bumuelo, you want to worry about, I mean, the traditional ones come with tortillas, tortilla style. Ours aren't. They're batter based. Mm -hmm. They're able to stay thin, crispier, and they last a lot longer because they have less oil in them. The closest you can get to a gillless funnel cake. Okay, and you said that the trick is a really, really thin batter, right? Yes, yes, because uh, having the hot irons are going to allow that real thin batter to stick to it, and that's what gives it the shape. Okay, and okay. your mom taught you how to make these, right? Yes, uh, yes, it was actually an accident the way we, we, this came about. My parents, they had some health issues, mm -hmm. and it was they were actually thank yous to the physicians. They loved it so much, they were like, we want to order. It oh. started at four dozen, then it went to 40, then 150. <laughs> And wow. now we're in the hundreds, if not thousands. And literally, Art said he's probably made about a million of these things going on. So <laughs> I just don't match me to my mom. She's already, I, I can't even, I'd be lying if I came up with the number that high. And this is typically, you know, popular during the holiday season, right? Yes. But you offer it year round. Yes, we actually do. Um, during the holiday season, of course, these are very, very popular. Uh, people tend to forget about them throughout the year, but they're delicious at all times. Mm -hmm. But now we're starting to add more things to our menus. Our brownies have a cult following almost. We have people that call all the time. They want brownies. We have a, we came out with our lemon bundy cake and, as well as banana nut bread. And Ooh. your brownies, which we have a few of them right here, but you have yes. a larger brownie. Yes, available, the big text. Right? The big text is actually about 10 to 11 inch as well as it's a pound and a half of brownie. So you can eat that whole thing and then just say, honestly, I only had one brownie. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Like All right, and these things, you said they keep forever almost. These can right? last over a month. Yeah. They're like cereal because as thin and crispy as they are, they don't have as much oil, so it allows them to stay longer. Nothing against the traditional. We grew up with the traditional ones, they but are. it's still a dough. And, and the other thing is you gotta be really careful. I'm gonna bring you a shot of that, John. 
You don't say, I was thinking you stick the whole thing down in there, but you do, and you got a mess on your hands, right? Yes, yes, if it overlaps the iron, then it gets stuck to it, and then you have to basically just scrape it off. Okay, what's your, perfect. besides cinnamon, sugar, and plain, what's your best uh, toppings, favorite toppings to put on these things? Ice cream. Uh, you, you, do, you lift it up, you do it differently. You add the crushed ones and then you put ice cream on top of it, it's perfect. Make a little but, uh, ice cream sandwich. We also have people that like them with the uh, powdered sugar. So it's almost like a funnel cake style. But you said powdered sugar, and you can cinnamon sugar is almost a little bit better to use than powdered sugar, because powdered sugar sits too long, it's gonna get kind of Yes, it can get a little gummy. clumpy just because the moisture content is different than cinnamon sugar. Mm -hmm. Cinnamon sugar is a little bit drier, so it lasts a little bit longer. Mm. But you can shake it. Shake it. Shake I'm it. so afraid I'm gonna... <laughs> oh no, you'll do fine, just as long as you keep it in the oil, keep so it that it doesn't oil. splash everywhere. Right. Fiona and hot oil. I know. Oh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> and then oh, you can either use these tongs right. to just flip it over. Okay. So just like that. that. Just like that. Mm -hmm. oh, you can buy that. individually because you go to pop-ups, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And then some of the boxes and the tins that you have over there? Correct. Uh, in our boxes, there are a dozen boom mm -hmm. wettles wrapped in tissue paper, and then it comes in a gable-style box with a bow on it and an ornament. Mm. But, I love the little tins, though, too. <laughs> oh, yes. Those are something that we just came out with this year. But uh, the way we started with these is uh, the doctors wanted them to give them out as, their, as presents to their other physicians as well as to their families. So that's how we came up with this version of it. I love it. Okay, so <laughs> what, what's your hope? <laughs> Well, first of all, the biggest hope is to start adding more things to our menu so that people start seeing us, especially during the off season. We came out with a peach cobbler last year that people just loved. So now we're trying to start working with other businesses um, around town to see if, hey, y'all are looking for uh, somebody who can provide the sweets to your menu. Mm -hmm. We can come in, set up shop, and you know, we try to do different things for those businesses by coming and handing out free ones. Fresh fruit on that, can you imagine that? Like like peaches or uh, blackberries or something like that would be just delicious. <laughs> How you doing over there? I'm trying to get the second one off, oh, but I don't want to make too much noise while y'all were talking. <laughs> <laughs> so, and folks can order, You're, you, make them out there. Of, you, you make them out of your house? Yes, correct. Okay. We're cottage based, we operate out of our home. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. And so all they have to do is just get a hold of you on your they can social either, media? They can either call me and my number is 210-213-2207 uh, mm -hmm. or they can get a hold of us through our Facebook or Instagram page. You all know, right. the nice thing is they're so light and delicate, you can just kind of eat a whole bunch and you don't feel like you're really, you know, I indulging. I know, right? You've been working hard and I've been eating. <laughs> I know. <laughs> oh, wow, yeah. All right, well folks can of course order online from you and everything. So of course check out our partnership with Live from the Southside Magazine magazine on ksat.com and for more information on Southtown Buñuelos head to salive.com and click on the as seen on SA Live tab where we have links to both. And don't forget, like Art said, eat them all year round. They're not just for Christmas. Thank Love you making them so much. Thank you, all thank right. you. Hey, so many prizes, it's going to be hard to fit them all in your car. 11 prizes for today's lucky winner in our 12 days of Christmas giveaway. The big reveal is still ahead. Artisan Craft Bar and Distillery is here to make the holidays merry and bright. So cheers, we're making themed cocktails and mocktails. SA Live is getting San Antonio into the Christmas spirit. From lights and events. To dinner and desserts. To caroling and unforgettable gifts. Plus, our grand prize in our 12 days of Christmas giveaway. The SA Live Classic Christmas Special, tomorrow at 1 p.m., right here on KSAT 12. All right, well, it is a thirsty Thursday, and we're saying cheers to the holiday season ahead of us. Yep, and joining us now to talk about some seasonal drinks you can enjoy at Artisan Craft Bar and Distilleries, Master Distiller and Founder, Nick Spink. I haven't seen you in a while. Good to see you, sir. Merry hey, Christmas. Glad to be back. Okay. Merry Christmas. The nice thing about these cocktails, mm -hmm. you said they're simple enough to where you can just make them at home. If you're having a party, you're not going to be, you know, standing there trying to figure it out. And nope, they're real simple, real, they're, they're real impressive for guessing all, everything, and a lot, uh, two of them we can really make as mocktails too. Okay. okay. So the other thing to start off mm -hmm. with, you know, you always think about lining your glass in salt and sugar. Use a candy cane crushed up, right? I the, love the that. The great thing about that, you, know, you put carol syrup, that's the only way that it's going to grab onto that. Okay. So let's go ahead and make our first uh, peppermint martini. All right. So just a nice pour of vodka in there. So <laughs> uh, yeah, that's good. And then but put ha about half as much that you did with uh, simple syrup mm -hmm. in there. And if somebody's making a simple syrup at home, it's just take sh what? Half sugar, half water. And that's it. That's and it. reduce it down a little bit? If you want to do that. Okay. And then do a full eyedropper of, uh, this is peppermint uh, extract. And you can make this into a mocktail, mocktail by just putting just the sugar, not the vodka. And then there's already ice in there. So go ahead and cap it off and shake it off. Okay. 
Shake it real aggressively. You want it real cold. There you go. <laughs> you just make a lot of water it. if you shake it uh, short. Oh, okay. So, uh, just strain it on there, in there, and uh, we have the candy cane uh, rim and also the candy cane stick in there. Really nice, really refreshing. Um, now, I suppose if you wanted to, you could even put a little bit of red food coloring in there, too. You right? could put a little red food coloring in there. Okay. But mm -hmm. really nice refreshing. Your breath will always smell nice. <laughs> oh, see? <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> now, you can't get away with doing this and have your breath smell like peppermint. You won't get away with it. <laughs> no. but... Perfect date drink. Okay. So. <laughs> All right. So. Ooh. Ooh, that's good with the peppermint in there. Very good. So. Want to taste it? Oh, thank you so much. Next All one right, we're going to do, do is one. a pecan pie whiskey. All right. So go ahead and do a, a nice pour in there of this. Now, most whiskey drinks, uh, that's good. Uh, most whiskey drinks are actually most of it's whiskey. Mm -hmm. um, and then even on gin drinks, most of it's gin. So just put a little bit, of, just a little pour of that. And this is a pecan syrup that we actually make. But you, you can actually get into a lot of other things. You have a spoon next to you. Just ooh, ooh, stir it up a little good. bit. Okay. You can actually uh, use all these syrups that you do for coffee drinks and stuff like that. Go ahead and top it off with a couple um, candied pecans. And what's on that rim also is chopped up the pan candied pecans. So it's really oh. nice, really sweet, but it's not, it, the whiskey doesn't bite you in the face. Now this is a whiskey, this is a six month old bourbon that we actually make in house. And, and having the sweetness mm -hmm. in there, it's almost like an old fashioned, kind of a pecan sort of. Pe old pecan fashioned. old fashioned, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh. A little holiday yeah. twist we'll, on it. Holiday we'll twist. Okay. We'll Sorry, we got about two minutes left. So, so I am making the. We're, we're doing a cranberry Christmas, which is a gin drink. Okay. So we're going to do a nice pour of our gin. It's S and C gin, which we make in house. Also, all of our cocktails we do. Um, excuse me, alcohols we do make in house. Okay. Um, we're going to do a half squeeze of the lime, in there. Okay. Um, and then a. Uh, about a half ounce of the cran puree. And this is cranberry sauce and cranberry juice that I mixed together. And a little bit of the simple syrup, just a little bit, not the yes. whole thing. That's good. good. Okay. And then shake it up. There's already ice in there. Okay. And shake it up really nice. And um, your place, uh, you're not open Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, yep. uh, New Year's Eve, are you open? New Year's Eve, we're open. Uh, okay. We're normally open Thursday through Sunday, and we have a lot of entertainment going on every Saturday night uh, starting the new year. We have a comedy show. We're also looking for bands and, and stuff like that, too. Uh, we have two different stages and doing a lot of entertainment stuff. And the so, nice thing is, too, uh, you know, you head toward downtown, but you're not right downtown, so you're nope. not getting in all the... We're halfway area. between Pearl and downtown. So exactly where are you? Uh, we're on 9th and Austin Street. Okay. So, Go ahead, go ahead and try that. Well, you don't have to stir it up or anything like that. Okay. Here. Oh, here we there go. go. All right. It's last last live show of the mm -hmm. year, so go <laughs> there for you it. Go. Oh, that's good. <laughs> and last one. <laughs> last one. Our we're, doing a pepper, we're doing a peppermint bark chocolate martini. Okay. So um, I need on this over. Oh. She needs the vodka. The vodka. What, Pass the vodka, it's just Mike. A nice okay. stream of that. Uh -huh. All right, then. And then a nice pour of vodka. You got it. And this is similar to the peppermint martini. So in uh, one of the jiggers right there, we have a little bit of the uh, peppermint concentrate in there. Ooh. And then uh, about, uh, do about half, the, about one ounce of, or half ounce of, this is the simple syrup also. Okay. Uh, shake it up. Um, there you go, cap it off, shake it up. And all we're doing is when we shake it up, we're just chilling it down. And it's really, really easy to do this. Now this you can also do as a, as a uh, I know. <laughs> there it's you like go. In there. Thank you. Uh -huh. He's hired. All right. All right. Uh, you can do this as a mocktail real, real easy also. If you would like more information on Artisan Craft Bar and Distillery, and again, everything is made right there in-house, head over to SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab where we have provided a link. Nick, as always, thank you very much. And, and cheers. 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 Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas sir. Merry Christmas. All right, load up your Santa sack with 11 presents for revealing the day 11 prize in our 12 days of Christmas giveaway. That's next. Are you looking for a way to be charitable this holiday season? This December, you can help Family Service make a difference through their 20th annual Adopt-A-Family Holiday Giving event. You can help the Adopt-A-Family program by making a one-time donation, becoming a family sponsor, or simply making a monetary donation. It's easy. Just visit the link on your screen and make a family's holiday today. ASAC Community, in partnership with University Health, RBFCU, and Energy Transfer.
It's time to reveal the Day 11 prize in our 12 Days of Christmas giveaway. Today's winner will take home not just today's prize, but all of the other 10 prizes leading up to it from days 1 through 10, including a family fun pack to the Old West Christmas Light Fest at Enchanted Springs Ranch with admission passes, mechanical bull rides, hot cocoa, and s'mores for five. A $164 gift card to Lala's Gorditas, not valid for tamales, a pair of tickets to select shows at the Majestic Theater, including Mannheim Steamroller, Diana Krall, and more. A $200 gift card to Good Time Charlie's with chicken fried steak, mashed potatoes, and gravy, and all those comfort food classics. A fajitas and margaritas package from Las Palapas, including their famous beef and chicken fajitas, a big gallon margarita, and all the fixings. A holiday prize back from Smokey Moe's Barbecue with gift certificates, bottles of their savory barbecue sauces, and other fun items. A prize pack from Walk On's Bistro. It includes a gift card, branded t-shirts, and more. A one-night stay at the Kickapoo Lucky Eagle Casino Hotel in Eagle Pass with a $100 dine-in credit to their Azul restaurant and $50 in Lucky Bucks. You have to be 21 or older to win this prize. Then it's a gift basket filled with goodies from the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. It includes four tickets to the rodeo, a $10 Whataburger gift card, and more. A family four-pack of SeaWorld Gold Passes and two all-day dining deals. And today's prize, Drum Fiona Drummond, please. please. Very good. It's a $1,000 gift card to Living Spaces. You could buy a new sofa or a bedroom set, a dining room table. The possibilities are endless. All you got to do is enter to win the 12 Days of Christmas giveaway right now at ksat.com slash 12 days. We also have a link on our Facebook page at SA Live KSAT. The grand prize will be revealed tomorrow during the SA Live Classic Christmas Special. So remember, tomorrow's winner wins not only Day 12 prize, but all 12 prizes. So don't miss it. Never miss an episode of SA Live. Watch live or when you want on the KSAT TV app on these devices. SA Live streaming for free on KSAT TV. Earlier, we asked you, how do you like your hot chocolate? Marshmallows or whipped cream or with water and milk? Debbie says, with water, no marshmallows. Okay, whipped cream, yum. Maybe a little chocolate sprinkle on top. That's from Linda. Rosemary says, I like my hot chocolate with hazelnut cream in it and a little whipped cream on top with cinnamon. Isn't Frangelico hazelnut flavored for pure? That'd be sure. good too. Abuelita hot chocolate with milk and marshmallows. Oh my yes. gosh, I so I'm gonna make one today. Vanessa says milk with whipped cream. Hot chocolate. With Lydia says mm -hmm. milk and marshmallows with sweet bread. Ooh, that sounds good. I think she, was she gonna have that hot chocolate with you, Mike? Okay. And then Lisa Ann says with whipped cream and marshmallows under mixed with milk. Love that. And then you drive around and look at Christmas lights or watch. Our show. Yes, SA Live is getting San Antonio into the Christmas spirit. Lights and events, dinner, desserts to caroling, the best part about that, and unforgettable gifts. All right, plus the grand prize in our 12 days of Christmas giveaway. The SA Live Classic Christmas Special airs tomorrow at 1 p.m. right here on KSAT 12. Last show of the year, our last what? live show of the year. Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, everybody. <laughs>